Imagine a world where there's no TV, no social media, no internet at all in fact. Relationships are controlled, who you see, where you go, your whole future all decided for you. That was my life, the life of a Hasidic ultra-Orthodox Jew. The whole day is prescribed by Jewish law and they also live a very secluded life um, away from mainstream secular society. Unfortunately, in the school I went to, they used um, corporal punishment and my teachers would hit me almost on a daily basis. My childhood wasn't very pleasant in school. Questions are considered a form of doubting the faith, which um, leads you to hell. I was always aware that we were different and we were brought up to be different and we were told to be proud with it because we are the chosen people and our destiny is special. Language was almost exclusively Yiddish. It's seen as a way to separate us from the outside world and keep us chatting only amongst ourselves. I wasn't allowed to read any secular books, um, so I had to sneak into a library um, where nobody was seeing me and I snuck back books and hid them under my mattress. It was on the Sabbath and my friends were praying in the synagogue. I went to the supermarket and bought a ham sandwich. That was the first time that I ate non-kosher food. I ate it in the bathroom in the supermarket because I couldn't bring it back. I was trembling. I was doing something that was huge. I knew that that would have massive implications on my future life and that was confirming my transition. It's a very sophisticated system where they try to present you with philosophical arguments to prove to you that your religious tradition is the truth and that atheism or the secular world has got it wrong. As soon as I announced I no longer believe, I was shunned from the community, so I couldn't come back to the community. I had to start life in the new outside world. The first thing I did after leaving my community was to get a haircut. That was very liberating because for the first time I could walk on the streets without being identified. The rabbis assessed my case and came to the conclusion that I was dangerous for the spirituality of people in the community because I was asking questions that they could not answer. Most of my former friends and family won't talk to me. I'm much happier now than I was back then. Experiencing the freedom of the outside world is amazing. I still identify as a Jew. I see lots of value in being Jewish and practicing Jewish culture. I just don't believe in the religious claims. Leaving a very restrictive community is a very difficult thing. It's not an easy journey, but I would say it's worth it. Mm -hmm.